Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines After Dark. Today is episode number 35, and yeah, last time we um, did a little bit of a beginning of our leisure district over here, and I was talking about how we are definitely have a really large issue with our public transportation for this entire city, and it's something that probably needs to get taken care of this episode, so, um, I don't know how long, long I want to keep this running right now on pot on play, so, because I'm going to be more or less messing around with the entire, um, everything, all the bus stops, all the bus lines and everything. So, yeah. I know it's gonna mess a lot of things up before it fixes anything, so... Yeah, I think that's gonna be time we need to do it. And I... I think we need to start with this. Um, I want our bus hub still. Although, maybe not here on this corner. If I could get stuff away from this corner, that would actually probably... Yeah, move the bus station first off. That's my first act I want to do. And I think all I'm gonna do is take it... Turn it around this corner. And then we're going to... more or less be able to put it over here, and maybe I can think about at some point this road here, this will go straight through, and then we can kind of go back behind here, and maybe have like a second road, larger road going, and make them both one-way roads rather than trying to do the whole two-way road thing here, and which apparently doesn't work as well as I think it would here, so... It does mess up the flow a tiny bit because this is kind of the road that's supposed to be going that way, but... There's only so much you can do about it, and... Yeah, so... Let's see where our bus lines are. So it removed all the bus lines from there, and... I think all the bus traffic is going to be our thing we go with. Oh, I actually need to be kind of careful about how I do this so I don't, like, demolish all the buildings or something. Um, Alright, so buses. Let's take our bus lines. I can just right-click on the bus stops to move them. So, let's see if you... Yeah, there, there's a few of them throughout the city right now. Um, over here. Yeah, and a lot of these, it's like, I, I don't know why they're taking the specific route they're taking, but do, so. Yeah, because what I was trying to do before is everything collects in the bus hub, and I still kind of want to do that sort of thing, but it needs to make a little bit more sense. These lines need to make more sense now. They're not really making sense, so... Yeah. Everything is getting removed. You go away. And you go away. And you... And you... And apparently all our buses come from there, so... Yeah, because 
some of these bus lines. this one here. And the goal of all this is to make bus lines that make sense, so that way we can cover all the diff districts pretty sufficiently, so... Now I'm thinking we're gonna have one well, kind of just go around the downtown area here. And probably Valley Square and Grove Square. Okay. So let's start with that one. So we're going to kind of start here at our main bus stop. And... Let's see. Maybe right here before you cross the bridge. Here. And this road goes the other direction, so we're going to have to turn there. Maybe one there. The one maybe over here. And yeah, this is kind of a Basically the same thing we're gonna. No, I'm gonna put this stop over here on this road. This one's gonna come up across this bridge over here. Continue down that way. Down into this little residential area back here. And more or less come over this way and we'll kinda Maybe one over here, and back in. And then line number three downtown here, we're gonna... I think we're just kinda gonna go through the middle of the core area. Maybe one over here, and one here, and back into the station again. So that gets us three different lines for downtown. Maybe even a fourth one that kind of... Uh, no, actually that should be fine. So, next one I want to... We'll have this come over here and... This one is going to use that stop as well. However, it's going to come across and go over here into the... Industrial area. We'll just stop over there stop maybe around over here. There looks a good spot. One way over here. Okay, apparently... Yeah, I forgot that road is kind of weird. There are some odd roads in this area, so... Maybe one there, and then we'll kind of back down, go across the bridge, and then just... Yeah, we'll connect back in. And apparently it goes around that block. So maybe rather than having it go around that block, maybe can we get a stop somewhere in here and make that make a little bit more sense? There we go. I'll just give you a stop there as well. So you get kind of a little system there. Next one, I want 
want to do a line that just runs from here directly over to the um, airport here and back. So we'll have the airport line and it just goes up, goes to the airport and goes back. And I want to center this a little bit more. Yeah, we'll put it like there. So we basically have a line that just goes to the airport and back. Have a line over here for Hamilton Park. And I'm thinking that one we're gonna want to... This one might not go to the, um, same area everything else goes to just because of where it's located. This one, we're going to want to join up somewhere. Um, seems like a really awkward way for a bus to take up. Yeah, because this, it has to go down and in, so... Yeah, maybe we move that stop there, and then we can kind of... Go around, maybe put a stop there and then connect in. So we're gonna basically move some stops. That one can move there. So we have some combined stops that way and, and that line kind of connects in and to the main area and Alright, so we've got this sort of area done. Again, I can always, you know, maybe like the airport line here can stretch out, take care of that district, and you know, we're gonna have some of those that need to be done, so. Next line, I think I want a line that just kind of sort of runs around this area. And if I remember right, that is getting off there, so I'm going to want to go around that way. And more or less, I'm just going to, every few blocks, there will be a bus stop along the main road here. And then we need to somehow figure out how to go back all the way. So there can be a stop there. And maybe from here we can yeah, get on the highway. Okay. So you've got a line for that. This line actually probably also needs to go across that bridge, and I'll be back, because that's a telephone. Alright, sorry about that. I am back, and... Headphones and that are back on. Good. That's always a good thing. I can hear the game again. Okay. And I'm just thinking, because... This needs to also go down. I want this one to definitely go to the hub. So yeah, I suppose that's a way to do it. Just take that line, drag it down to the hub, drag it back, and then it meets up back at the same point. 
Um, maybe remove that and stop and we... The stop. And... The stop can go... Maybe... Up... Here? No, just remove that and stop. Okay. And even that one. So then it kind of comes down here, goes the hub, goes back up on the highway, goes across the highway all the way over here, and then starts again. And our line kind of just goes through the middle there, and don't need to worry about getting off, getting back on, anything like that, so. Yeah, that works. Um, it, yeah, basically that line's just literally to take care of the tourist district. Next line is going to start here again. And we're going to want to go up into here, and I think we're going to take care of both Cozy Park. Or maybe we just take care of Cozy Park with this one. Um, I have a stop over here on the... Well, and here, put a stop inside the um, little commercial shopping area there, and kind of continue it around. And then I want to go back. Maybe we go up here in this tourist loop, or maybe we can, can um... Yeah, we'll put maybe some stops down into here. Second one there, and... I can come back out a different way. Up to there, and... Put a stop there, and connect in. That's our next line. I have a line that I think just takes care of these two areas here alone. And that one will have a stop there. To stop here. Be a stop there. And yeah, because of how this area is kind of laid out, the stops kind of have to go inside the neighborhoods. There we go. There's a line. And it does share this spot there for a connection. And then we've got the old town sort of area here, which does cover a little bit of this as well. Um, and apparently there's a little line there that I completely forgot about. Okay, so... This is going to be the weird one. Going to want to go down here. To there. Go up to here. And that is going to run into here. And then we're basically going to go back. I think I'm going to try to enter into like maybe some of the back areas here along with this, and then maybe we can stop there, stop there. So you get a loop there. I'm gonna want to loop here in the uh, bottom district, which makes sense. We'll kind of go through the middle of these districts and put in a few more bus stops and Go do something like that, and then this one over here, I'm gonna start a line kind of here along the main road, make it kind of go in around through here, and I'm 
there and put maybe a stop. Yeah, that should be enough stops on this side, and then I want this to... Actually, that one's not going to be there. This will go up over here. Have a stop there, stop there. Stop way over here. So it shares a few stops, then it comes back over here. And we will also loop around back to that stop and that stop. And then we're gonna come over this way. We'll connect to those two stops and start over. There we go. So it kind of loops on itself. These stops are covered twice in that route, and I think that will help a lot with our traffic issues, um, at least for now. We will have to, you know, do more again once we get to, like, say, this other districts like Briarwood get filled up Myrtle Square, this area down here, Grove Square, Green Park. Green Park one actually since it's the airport one, that will probably be fine to get in, but yeah, a lot of these are gonna just, you know, I'll have to do a lot with them to kind of make them work, and we have 20 transport lines, how about that? And yeah, that, again, it didn't pop up for some reason, so just kind of have to take it by plan, and apparently it's not been that way for a year yet. So, how does that... It did increase it a little bit, and we do have a lot more of this being... Yeah, you can tell some of the lines are a little more popular than others. Like, this line has nothing at all. But yeah, the idea is everything collects here. So, since everything collects here, everything should be able to go to the different lines, and you can have one easy spot to meet everything up in. And that's going to actually do it for this episode, guys. I think when I come back next time, I'm actually going to see about turning this to a one-way road, and then having a parallel one-way road going the other direction, so that way we can handle this traffic a little bit better, because right now it's a little bit of an issue, and... Well, I think I can get a road through here. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!